Thirty Years' War was an extremely complex engagement that raged through Northern Europe from 1618 to 1648, and there were a host of regional rivalries exacerbated by religious hostilities between the various Protestant and Catholic leaders, and this led to horrible devastation and an estimated five million deaths. Now, Swedish King Gustavus Adolphus had his sights on influencing northern Germany, and thus came into conflict with the German king Ferdinand II, who was strengthening his Baltic fleet in response to Gustavus Adolphus. On June 17th of 1630, Gustavus boarded ships, and accompanied by an army of 13,000, he landed on the German coast a short time later. He spent over a year campaigning throughout northern Germany, and he expanded his army to nearly 100,000 and he relied heavily on recruited mercenaries that he'd picked up along the way. Now, during his campaign, Gustavus Adolphus was dogged by Johann Sercles, the Count of Tilly. T Under Ferdinand II, Tilly was the Holy Roman Empire's major general. During this time, both armies engaged in a cat-and-mouse tussle, leaving trails of devastation in their wake. And when Tilly besieged Leipzig on August of 1641, it forced its leader, the corpulent Johann Georg I, to add his Saxon forces to the Swedish army. Now, at this point, Tilly had about 30,000 troops to Gustavus's combined Swedish-Saxon army of 40 or 50,000. On the morning of September 17th, Gustavus Adolphus ordered his troops to march south across the swampy banks of a stream, the Lober. At the same time, Tilly sent his Croatian and Hungarian cavalry units to harry Gustavus's passage through this swampy terrain. And while these skirmishers were repulsed, it did buy Tilly enough time to ready his troops on a pair of nearby ridges. Now, the King of Sweden arrayed his troops in a line with his musketeers, his pikemen, and his dragoons located in the right and the center. Now, of his troops, about one quarter were Swedes, while the remaining 75% were German and English mercenaries. And in the center were also artillery batteries with four 24-pound guns, eight 18-pound guns, and 42 light regimental guns. And to the left of the Swedes were 17,000 Saxons divided between infantry and cavalry. Across the field to the south, under Tilly, was the Imperial Catholic League's army, assembled in about a two-mile-long line, and the army consisted of 21,000 infantry, arranged in the Tercio formation that was so popular at the time, about 10,000 cavalry, and 27 artillery pieces, including 11 massive 32-pound cannons. Now, the battle began at noon with an exchange of artillery fire, and for two hours both sides battered each other, leaving about 1,000 Swedish, 1,000 Saxon, and 2,000 Imperial soldiers dead. Now, the better trained Swedish artillery was able to fire considerably more volleys than the slower Imperial gunners. Now, one of the major problems here was the smoke and dust of the artillery barrage limited vision, particularly for the Swedes, who were on the downwind side of the battle. Now, the battle on the Swedish right flank became formidable. At 2 o'clock, the impetuous Imperial Field Marshal Gottfried Pappenheim ordered a flanking maneuver with his mounted units against the Swedish right. And as the Imperial Curiaciers, who were cavalry outfitted with pistols, approached the Swedish line, Gustavus Adolphus ordered a discharge from his musketeers, which disrupted the Imperial charge. Now, while the Swedish reloaded, their horsemen would charge forward, they would harry the retreating Imperials, and then they would return to the line. And Pappenheim repeated his charge three times, each time incurring more and more losses. Pappenheim then quickly adjusted to his setback, and he extended his line in an attempt to reach the king's right flank. Now, Gustavus Adolphus responded to this by moving his reserves to his right, also extending his line in the process. And after four more assaults by the Imperials, Swedish forces made a full countercharge that pushed Pappenheim's pretty much exhausted forces from the field. Now, the only sizable forces remaining on the Imperial flank were a tercio of... 1,500 men from Schleswig-Holstein. The Swedish Open fired on them, and the musketry and canister charges reduced them from 1,500 to 300 men by 5 o'clock. Now, meanwhile, on the Swedish-Saxon left flank, things couldn't be more different. Now, the Imperial Cavalry were initially dispatched to attack the Saxon units, and after a brief struggle, they killed or captured a number of Saxon officers, and they quickly routed them. They seized this opportunity, and Tilly sent several tercios forward. The greater part of the Saxon army responded by panicking and routing, and by four o'clock were off the field. The Imperials captured the Saxon artillery, and they used these to assault the retreating Saxons as well as the Swedish left flank, and within minutes the Allies had lost one-third of their forces. Tilly then began to maneuver his army around to attack the left flank of the Swedish army, which had previously been its center, 
and because of the size of the tercios trying to pivot, as well as the considerable smoke and dust, the imperial troops began to crowd together and the tercios became quite unwieldy, and subsequently communications began to break down. Now, witnessing what was happening in front of them, the more agile Swedish troops under Field Marshal Gustav Horn saw their opportunity and seized it. Now, Horn brought in reinforcements and he began to extend his line in a 90 degree angle. Now, amazingly, this improvised maneuver was carried out in just 15 short minutes. And Horn realized that Tilly's forces of 20,000 men were, were reforming for an assault which he could not hold out against. And he turned to a strategy of buying time and, until more Allied reinforcements could be brought into place. Now, both sides continued to pepper each other with artillery, and Colonel Moritz Penson von Kaldenbach led a regiment of Swedish cavalry in a suicide charge to buy even more time. Now, eventually, Gustavus Adolphus, who was still engaged with Pappenheim at the time, heard of Horn's plight and ordered reserves to reinforce his far left. Now, the time for maneuvering was finally over, and for an hour, the battle devolved into a grim melee. Now, by five o'clock, the Imperial forces began to lose momentum. However, Tilly refused to withdraw from the battle. And when Pappenheim's forces retreated, the Imperial troops were now fired on from both of their flanks. In a reversal of fortune, the Imperial artillery, along with the recaptured Saxon guns, were turned on Tilly's exposed troops. And the Imperials quickly lost cohesion and fled the field. All that was left was a mopping up to action which wound down about sunset, and Imperial forces had 8,000 dead and 6,000 captured. Now many of these Imperial soldiers, who like the mercenaries at the time had little allegiance to the king, were recruited immediately into the Swedish ranks. The cowardly Saxons lost about 2,500 men, and the Swedish forces lost about 3,500. The Swedish victory at Breitenfeld strengthened the cause of the German Protestant states as it was their first and greatest victory, and several other German states joined the Swedish king's cause, and interestingly, Catholic France pledged aid to the nominally Protestant army. Gustavus Adolphus continued to campaign throughout northern Germany until his fall at the Battle of Lutzen a year later. Now, in retrospect, the crowning achievement in Breitenfeld was the Swedish king's innovative use of battlefield tactics. Now, remember that at the beginning of the Pike and Shot era, armies relied on two military doctrines, the Spanish-German doctrine and the Dutch doctrine. And Tilly adopted the Spanish-German doctrine, which was characterized by these tight Pike and Shot tactical formations called tercios. And while tercios were deadly, the squares of pikemen were difficult to maneuver on the battlefield. And Gustavus Adolphus, on the other hand, relied on a modification of the Dutch doctrine that utilized the lighter, smaller brigades of pike and muskets arranged in lines. Now further, the Swedish king arranged his brigades in two lines with the cavalry on both wings. And Gustavus Adolphus also instructed his musketeers to engage in volley fire tactics rather than successive fire. Now these musketeers were arranged in three ranks, with the first rank kneeling, the second rank crouching, and the third rank standing. The kneeling rank would fire first, the crouching rank would fire second, and then the standing rank would fire third, and then this process would repeat. Now the Swedish king's other contribution to battlefield tactics was the development of smaller, more mobile artillery. Up until that time, armies relied on emplacing these giant siege guns before the battle, where they stayed for the entirety of the engagement. He also relied on cavalry charges that involved firing pistols before they galloped in with their sabers drawn, and he developed the tactics of combining infantry, cavalry, and artillery into these combined arms tactics, where the whole was much greater than the sum of its parts. It's interesting that in many ways the Battle of Breitenfeld was the dawn of early modern warfare. Now, Breitenfeld uses the uh, standard SPI 30 Years War quad rules, but there are a few little things about it that are kind of specific to this game. First of all, there's some movement restrictions. The Imperialist player cannot move any units until game turn in which at least one Imperialist unit is disrupted by enemy artillery fire, or until game turn four, whichever comes first. They're then free to move. The Allied player cannot move until the game turn in which at least one Imperialist unit moves to within three hexes of an Allied unit or until game turn five, whichever comes first. Now also remember that the Allied player controls the Swedish and Saxon units, which are considered friendly to each other. The Swedish can also make cavalry charges. When they do this, they double their combat strength, and the only time they can do this is against disrupted enemy infantry. Now, charge options are always voluntary, and they can combine this charge attacks with infantry and leader attacks. Regardless of the results of the attack, however, a cavalry unit employing the charge option is automatically disrupted after combat. 
one thing kind of interesting about the battle was that visibility was a problem. Early in the day, fog obscured much of the field, and later, smoke from over a hundred cannons and thousands of muskets and dust from moving all these men and horses made visibility poor. So at the beginning of each game turn, the imperialist player rolls a dice, and the visibility is determined as being clear, moderate, or restricted. On a roll of 1 to 2, that means that the visibility for that particular game turn is clear. On a roll of 3 to 4, it means it's moderate, and on a roll of 5, it means it's restricted. On a roll of 6, it means that the visibility remains the same as it was in the previous game turn. Now, if it's clear, all units function normally. If it's moderate, all movement allowances are halved, with fractions rounded up, and units may only undisrupt on an adjusted die roll of 6. And finally, if it's restricted, the effects are identical to moderate visibility, also, no artillery counter may fire unless the target hex is one or two hexes away from the firing unit's hex. Also, a Swedish cavalry may not charge unless they're stacked with or adjacent to a leader counter. Now, also remember that units are free to leave the map. However, they can't return to play once they've done that. Now, also note that Saxon and Imperialist forces may only exit the map after one force or the other has been demoralized. The initial Saxon demoralization level is 4 infantry combat strength points, and when the number of Saxon infantry strength points eliminated equals or exceeds the demoralization level, then the Saxon army is immediately demoralized. If the Saxons aren't demoralized by the end of the Imperialist player turn of game turn 7, then the Saxon demoralization level immediately increases to 12 infantry strength points. Now, if the Saxons are demoralized, all Saxon units are immediately disrupted and they may not be undisrupted. And beginning on the player turn immediately following Saxon demoralization, if any Saxon units end any phase in an enemy zone of control, they're immediately eliminated. The Swedish demoralization level is 75 infantry, and when the number of Swedish infantry combat strength points eliminated equals or surpasses this level, then the Swedish army is immediately demoralized. The initial imperialist demoralization level is 45 infantry combat strength points, and if the imperialists are not demoralized by the end of the Swedish player turn of game turn 9, then they're demoralization level increases to 55 infantry strength points. If the imperialist army has not been demoralized by the end of the Swedish player turn of game turn 15, the imperialist demoralization level again increases to 65 infantry combat strength points. Also, the imperialist demoralization level increases by 5 infantry strength points beginning on the, dame, beginning on the game turn after the Saxons are demoralized if the Imperialists are not already demoralized. Now the allied player gets one victory point for every enemy combat strength eliminated. They get three victory points for every enemy leader eliminated, and they get 15 victory points for capturing all Imperialist artillery counters and holding them by the end of the game. If the Imperialist forces are demoralized at the end of the game, then the Swedish... And if Swedish forces are demoralized at the end of the game and the Imperialist forces are not, then the allied player receives one victory point for every Swedish combat strength point exited from the 0100 hex row. For the Imperialist player, they get one victory point for every enemy combat strength point eliminated, four victory points for every allied leader eliminated, four victory points for every allied leader value point eliminated, ten additional victory points for eliminating Gustavus Adolphus, and if the Swedish forces are demoralized at the end of the game and Imperialist forces are not, the Imperialist player receives two victory points for every undisrupted Imperialist cavalry strength point exiting from the 0100 x row. If the Imperialist forces are demoralized at the end of the game and Swedish forces are not, the Imperialist player receives one victory point for every Imperialist strength from the 2300 hex row. Okay, got Breitenfeld set up here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is determine what the visibility is for the first turn. And so we roll a six, and that means it's the same. It means it's going to be clear. Uh, we assume it starts out with clear. No cannons of shot, so there's not a bunch of smoke in the air. So then we can go ahead and we can fire those cannons. And we're going to start down here with the uh, Imperials. Let's bring the cannons forward so we can see them. The artillery, I guess they're artillery batteries. Okay, there's four of them. I think there's none. No, okay. And so we're going to fire, and I think the people we want to fire on are going to be the one, uh, probably the, hmm. Let's go ahead and fire on these two. I think there's no, there's no range, uh, as long as there's line of sight, there's no range issues. So we can actually fire down here. Um, hmm. 
I think we're going to do that. We're going to fire along the battle down here. And um, then these two will fire over on the uh, Saxons. Um, let's see. We could fire on... Infantry, infantry. Now, there's, it makes one thing to remember here is the one rule is a unit may never be eliminated as a result of artillery fire. That is, artillery fire has no effect upon disrupted units. So it doesn't do you any good to fire on a unit twice. If, if it's been disrupted, do not fire on it again. Let's fire here on this guy. And we need a... There's also, yeah, no distance. So we need a one. We get a two, and then the other guy I'll fire here, five. So those guys have fired. Now these guys, I think we're going to fire right here on this unit here. We'll fire twice. One, two, nothing. Okay. Now then, the the uh, allies can fire here, the Swedish units. They pull their these over. And we will this we will keep firing and basically we fire for the first four rounds or until a uh empiric unit gets disrupted, whichever comes first. And we do have more allied cannons here. So um what I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm gonna fire down this line of cavalry here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Okay, there's my that. So there's my disruption. And then we'll just go to the next guy in line. Two, three, four, five, six. Nothing there. Okay. And then we had over on the Saxon side, two. And we will just fire. Let's just fire these two guys right here. Or just start at that one guy. Okay, nothing. Okay. And that is the end of the turn. We go to turn two, and we roll again to see three. Okay, this time we do have uh, some visibility issues. It means moderate visibility. All movement allowances are halved with fractions rounded up. And units may only dis undisrupt on a six. Instead of a five or six, it's a six base. Okay. So the first thing we can do is um, we're going to fire. No, first we got to try to resolve the uh, disruptions, route, uh, rally from the route. Okay, and they need a six, and they do not make it. Okay, now then they can... Uh, we're going to fire again here. Let's fire again down here at this at uh, tot. Nothing. Okay, and then over here we're going to fire at... Let's just fight right here at Starshall. Nothing. Okay. Now the um, the uh, Empiric units can go. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Actually, let's go here. Um, and now if I get within three, uh, hexes of the, uh, allies, they can move. I don't think I want to do that yet. I think I want to get these guys into position. So we will go here. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and um, do I move my infantry? Do I dare move my infantry or do I wait? I think I'll move them. And then here, one, two, three. Two, three, four. Um, again, I want to stay outside that three hex range right now. Um, the other thing I'm going to be kind of worried about is that cannon there. Um, 
Well, that's not going to do me much good. One, two, three, four. And then we will move these guys down here. One, two, three, four. Try to get these sacks, and I'm going to hit the sacks that's hard here. So basically, I think for my imp the Empiric player, I'm going to kind of follow the historical model as I'm going to try to get behind maybe here, and then we'll try to hit the Saxons hard. Okay, that should be it. We move to the um, allies, and again, I think we're going to try to fire, hmm, let's try to take these, again, we're, I think the biggest threat's going to be these Empiric units, so let's go, let's just start with this guy in the front here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing there. And then these two. Oh, wait, hold on. We'll start it over again. Okay, one, two, three, four. We're at a little different range here. And the range is going to be three to five. So it's at one or two. Did I get it? So here, we'll start with this guy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this guy and this guy need a one or two. They do. Okay. And then the rest of them. I'm going to just say they will go with that. Uh, let's, well, let's play them out anyway. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Flip piece. And then over here. They, I'm going to start end guy here, and two of them, and they need a one or two, and they do hit. Okay. Flip piece. Okay. Now then, nobody's within three, so they cannot move, and we move to turn three. Okay, dokey. Let's see. Um, we got to see what happens. Three. Okay, so we still have the same half. Um, we're back at that half movement, and only a six can bring back the guys that can rally him. Okay, so he needs a rally, he needs a rally, he needs a rally. Let's do our rallies first here, and they need a six. One, two, three. Okay, this guy rallied. And then over here, we got one guy here, five. Okay. He would normally rally, but because of the uh, weather, I guess. Okay. Okay, now then we can one, two, hell, either way I've got that guy. I kind of want to stay away from that infantry if I can help it. One, two, three, four. He has a pretty good range here. Well, I know what we're going to do is we're going to hit him hard here. And okay. Oh, I forgot to fire. Okay. I'm going to fire at this guy. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can. I can fire down here. I actually can fire two at him because I can fire from this one and this one. So we'll do that. We'll fire first one, two. Neither of them hit. Okay, and then we're going to fire, um, I guess we'll fire right there. Three, and then we'll fire, I'll fire again at him. Four. Okay, nothing there. And then, let's see. Oops. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all the further I can go. Four. Four. And we'll just try to go down the line here. Would have been helpful to have some better visibility. Good rule.
Okay, I'm going to form a nice line here. I may actually go back there. And that is it for movement. Now we can do combats. And we're going to start with a six one to one here. Four. Nothing. Okay. And six and five, one to one here with a one. Okay, we got a disorder there. And then here we have a six, seven, eight, five, one to one with a three. Nothing. Okay, over here we have six to four, going to be one to one with a five. Defender exchange, okay. And then one to one here with a two. Defender exchange. And then a, let's see, is that a six to four? One to one with a five. Defender exchange. And flip piece. Okay. I think that is it for the uh, the Imperials. Let's say now the um, allies can go. First of all, we're going to try to uh, rally. And we need sixes. Three, nothing there. Okay. And then there's these three guys here. One, two, three, nothing. Okay. Then we can fire. Um, I think we're going to aim fire down here at these guys. So let's do these six and we're going to try here and then move on down the line. Uh, three to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. So this cannon can actually do a three to five and he got a two. So that did, uh, that did, uh, disorder him. Okay, now, can I, ah, he's in the way, um, I guess we're just going to have to fire here, okay, so we'll have these five fire starting here, oh, that's a one, that's okay, and then we'll move here to this guy, two three four five okay and then these guys here are f shooting at a range of one okay so that can't really oh my well they've got a real problem here um the problem being and this is a little bit unrealistic is they're firing right at a range of one they don't they can't fire over anybody so these guys are in the way and it doesn't do them any good because again that rule that says you can't uh, you can't get two disorders with a artillery unit to eliminate so that's where that rule is maybe not the best and realistically these guys would have just shot them to hell okay I guess that's then we're open to movement and battle uh, one two three four and then this guy will move in, and this guy will move in. One, two, three, four. I think we'll just... Two, three, four, and then... Two, three, four. Okay. I Then... Um, two, three, four, 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 two... Okay, and I think I'll leave these guys in reserve here. Over here. Um, 
Oh, he can only move two. Well, we'll move him here. Four. Um, not bad, but just annoying. Okay, I think we've got everybody moved, so we're going to have 12 to 3, 4 to 1 odds, and we roll a 3. So, 4 to 1 with a 3 is a, that's a uh, second elimination. So, we've got him out. And we will move him in place. And then we've got three, one to two. With a two, uh, nothing. Okay. And then five to eight, one to two, with a four. Defender exchange. Flip him. And. Flip him, and then a 6 to 12. 1 to 2 with a 2. Nothing. Okay, moving over to the Saxon side. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12 to 6. 2 to 1 with a 5. Nothing. Okay. Four to three, one to one with a four, nothing. And, um, oh, I didn't move those guys. Darn it. What was I not thinking? Okay. Well, that's it. Okay. That is the end of round three, game turn three. Game turn four is going to be, let's see, let's roll for it. And we get a one, so it's clear. Everybody can move full. Now the, uh, let's try to rally here. So here we have a rally of, um, gets plus two. Pappenheim's there. So five, six, he needs a three, four, five, or six. And he makes it. Okay, so he rallies. Down here, needs a five or six. Doesn't rally. 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 Oh my. Okay. Um. Right here. Five or six. Doesn't rally. Now this guy needs a four, five, or six because he's next to um. Furstenberg. So four, five, or six. He rallies, and then this guy needs a four, five, or six and rallies. Okay, it is up. Okay, and then we have our shooting match. Uh, gonna have, go ahead and shoot right here and here. So two shots, one, two, um, one, two, three, four, five, and that would be a. Both of those would be a three, four, or five. No, they would be a one or two. So he does flip him because I got a two, and let's just uh, shoot at this guy. No, okay. Now we're ready to move. And I think what we're going to do Move up here and move here. I want those cannon. I want to take those cannons if I can. Um, let's see, one, two, three. Not enough to get into range. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. 
Now, the Saxons will leave once they take four points. Uh, so basically, if they take four points uh, eliminated, they're going to head out the next turn. Um, okay. These guys, um, I think, since there's no zones of control, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was going to try to move around here. Um, going to move down to the end. And I guess that's about all we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to move this guy. Oh, no. Leave it as a cavalry battle. Let's start here, and I want to go, I really want to try to eliminate these two cannons. That's something I really want to do. So I'm going to have him attack both of these guys. So eight, it's going to be one to two odds, and I get a one. Defender exchange. Okay, so that's fine. We can flip him, flip him, flip him. Now I'm going to go seven to two, three to one odds. With a five, nothing, of course. And then six to two, three to one odds. With a four, another defender exchange. And that's going to flip him. Okay, there's my four. So at this point, the Saxons are going to flee. And they'll start fleeing in the next turn. Um, they would have been easy points, and that's the thing to do, is I want to kind of shoot them like fish in a barrel for those easy points before they get off the board. Okay, six to two, three to one odds. Uh, two, three to one with a two as a defender. There we go. And then, oh my, this guy's up against a bunch of people here. He's six to, six to six. Six to ten, so one to two odds with a four. Defender exchange, okay. And then finally, fourteen to two. Seven to one odds, or six to one with a five. And that's a defender. That's going to get rid of this guy. Probably we should have distributed our guys a little better, but that's okay. Um, and I just realized you can't rally when you're next to these guys. Sorry about that. You have to be two hexes away to rally. Okay, over here, I've got eight, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine... Wait, now, three, six, one to one odds with a four. Nothing, okay. And then, um, oh, two to one odds with a five, nothing. And then one to one with a one, okay. Okay, there we go. That's the end of that, uh, the end of the Imperial movement. And then we're going to go with the... Try to see... Okay, so who can rally? First of all, this guy is flipped because they're now ready to flee. Um, rally, rally, rally. Nobody can rally here. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, I can try to shoot. Not many. I guess we'll just try to shoot down the line here. We'll start here with these two. Nothing. And then these four, I'm going to try for this guy. And there's a one, so we can flip him. And then... I don't think these cannons can really shoot anybody because they're... And actually, he can... 
when he uh, eliminated that guy, he can move into that space. So he'll, we'll say he did that. Okay. That doesn't do me much good. Uh, that's, I think, going to be it for rallies. Now we do our movement, and we will move away. Um... There. Oh, then these guys can come off. Two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see who's moved here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Um, Okay, lots of maneuvering, and we are going to try to take out this guy down here, and it's going to be four, five, six, seven to three, two to one odds with a six, defender exchange, okay, flip piece, flip piece, and this guy is gone, oh, actually, Hold on, this guy had to fight this guy. Let's do it again. Okay, there's three, four to three. One to one odds with a six. Defender exchange. So we'll say this guy exchanges. And then this guy would be three, one to three odds with a six. Attacker eliminated. Okay. And then these guys go here. Um, I think I'm going to use the six to six, one to one odds there with a three, nothing. Okay. And then we're going to go four to three, one to one, and then one to one. One to one with a one is a defender is disrupted. Let's see, we did that nothing. This one was here, so that one is disrupted. So that's that eliminates him. And then finally, one to one here with a four. Nothing. Okay. So that is the left flank of the allies. We go here with a 12 to 5 and a 1. That's one to one with a or two to one with a one as a defender is disrupted and then over here we've got three six seven eight nine ten to eight one to one with a one. Oh man I can flip a piece he's disrupted <clears throat> and that is the end of the turn okay we roll for Visibility, get a six. It's the same, so it's clear. Uh, we will start with trying to uh, 
save from disruptions. So we'll start here. We need a five and six. Nothing here. Okay, this guy saves here. Nothing here. One, nothing. Oh, I need to move Tilly down here. I get, I've get. i totally forgotten about my leadership. Uh, and nobody over here is in range. Okay. Cannons can go. And this guy is one, two, three, four away. So we need a one or two. Gets it. So, oh, he's already disrupted. So nothing. Okay. Um, can I shoot? I'll say that we're going to try that again with Tufel. Okay. This guy will shoot at... He's got a pretty good shot right there. Two. Okay. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Can't make it. Um, these guys here... Going to take a shot at him with these two. Nothing. Okay. Now we can move the Imperial units. Um... One. One. We'll try to get out of being surrounded here. Um, and I think what we'll do is this guy will move here and here and here and down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. I think that's two. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, I forgot this guy. He got he had a cannon there. He can shoot right at that guy at one. Um and he gets a one. He disrupts him. Okay. This guy will flip and Okay. Basically I'm gonna move these guys around up here and we'll try that cannon. Um Let's see. I think I've got everybody moved around here. And so we're going to start over here. Uh, 7 to 2, 3 to 1 odds with a 2. And that's going to eliminate that guy. Okay, then this guy is going to keep the cannon. This guy is going to fight uh, 6 to 5, 1 to 1 with a two. One to one with a two is a defender exchange, so we can flip him. He's gone. And this guy is flipped. And then we have a seven to two, three to one odds with a three. Defender. Now remember that demoralization in this game applies not to cavalry, but to infantry. And I so far, we well, they have lost some infantry, I guess. And I guess that's why you want to go after those Saxons, because you get all those infantry points. Okay. Yeah, the Saxons didn't look too good in this battle. Uh, 12 to 2. Let's go 2 to 1 odds with a 2. And that's going to flip him. And then here we have a 5, 6, 7 to 6. 1 to 1 odds with a 3. And that's going to be it for them. I don't remember the stacking rules in this game. Oh well, I'm not going to look them up. I'm going to assume that we're just going to not stack. We'll just play it out like that. Actually, you got to spread your guys out a little bit anyway, so... Okie doke. Uh, let's... So now it is the uh, Allies' turn. Try to rally... Oh wait, one other guy. I want to move Tilly down here. And do I want to move any other leaders? Um, oh, and I didn't do these guys. Okay, 12. 
uh, to oh, it's easy. It's easily six to one odds. Two six to one with the two defender eliminated, and that's going to eliminate Horn. There we go. Now I remembered everybody. Okay, moving across everybody. Duh, 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 check everything out. Okay, now we can go to the um, allied turn. Start by trying to uh, rally with these three. And I need a five or six. Okay, two of them rallied. Uh, here he can't rally. Okay, over here. Two, no. One, no, no, he can't rally. Okie doke. Um, now we can do our cannonade. Um, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't know why the swamp is here. I don't think I ever have seen in the real battle that the swamp was there, but um Okay, so this guy can fight at a uh he needs a one or two, so he misses. Now everybody else down here can fire with a they need a one. I'm gonna hit try for that guy. So I got five shots at him. One, two, three, four. There, there it is. And I got one more shot. Let's go with this guy here. Oh, okay. Nothing there. That's it. Okay, so we got those two cannons. Now comes the movement. Let's try to get our... Our guys out of the way. And I think now is the time to bring some infantry in. Now we'll one, two, three, four, five, six. And okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um moving him here and here and Gotta move here. Okay, we've maneuvered. Um, it's interesting too because Lutzen plays the same thing with the big ditch here. But okay, um. We're going to start firing here. Five, ten to three. Three to one odds with a four. Three to one with a four is a defender exchange. So he's gone. And then these guys are flipped. Okay, four, eight to three. Two to one odds with a two. Okay, so he's gone. And then over here, three, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to three. Three to one odds with a six. Three to one with a six. Nothing. Okay, here we've got six to twelve. It's going to be one to three. Ouch. Five. Uh, flip him. Okay, and then five, ten, eleven to three. Three to one with a two is a defender. Okay, so he's gone. And I think we've done everything over here. Okay. And that is going to be the end of turn.
this is a pretty fun game. I, I really I like these 30-year war quad is, is quite a bit of fun. It's pretty easy, although it's got some kind of tricky little rules to it. And but it, it really plays well. Okay. Gotta roll to see what the weather's like. It's clear again, alright. Um first thing is to fire these guns. So I'm gonna fire uh, I can't, oh man. They've blocked me again. Okay. Let's see what... Oh, gosh, these guys are really blocked. I can't fire down on him. don't think everybody else is in... I mean, I guess I could fire at these guys. It's not really going to make a big difference with those guys. Um, I wish there was a line of sight thing in here. I don't think I've got line... I do have line of sight here. I think I've got line of sight at him, so I'm going to fire at him. One. Okay, I do hit him clear across the battlefield. Here, um, fire at this guy. Three, nothing. Okay, uh, we're going to, again, fire at this guy with a five, and finally here with a two. So those are all nothings. Okay, now rallies. This guy can try. And he's next to the leader, so he needs a uh, four, five, or six. Does not make it. This guy can try to rally. Doesn't make it. This guy can rally. He's, there's the leader, Furstenberg. Um, so he needs a four, five, or six. Whoops, let me hit it. Okay, four. There it is. Rally. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, down here. Tilly helps this guy rally. There we go. Man, I ought to move Tilly in here to help units rally, but... And... This guy will move in place. This guy will move in place. This guy, this guy, I'll move in place. And he will move in place. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This guy can move in here. Um, Tilly will move over here. How about my leaders? Where's my leaders? Um, I think I want to keep my leadership bonus here. Okay. We're losing units, though. I mean, we're cleaning out the... the uh, cavalry. Okay, we've got seven and six. So six and six is 12. 13 to three. Four to one odds with a five. Defender exchange. Okay. I think the fun thing is you just, everybody just ends up so t exhausted by this, which is, is kind of the interesting part. Okay, two to one odds there with a five. Two to one with a five. Nothing. Um... Eight to four, two to one there with a five, nothing. Okay. Seven and that's uh, two to one if we add it here. Oops. Seven to three. Okay. Seven to three, two to one odds here. And we will make it plus the five. That's four to one odds. Uh, six, four to one at a six, nothing. Oh, man. And then we have seven, 14, 15, five to one odds with a four. And that will eliminate him. Okay.
we go to the allied turn and so the allies can try to make their little route rallies okay he rallies and then here uh we need a three four five and six flip uh, here nothing here nothing okay oh in here nothing okay now we can do artillery fire um i think we're gonna fire these five can fire down on tilly here hope they can nothing there okay i guess all we've got really to fire we could fire i'm gonna say that guy is they can all fire at him so we're gonna try one, two, three, there's one, okay. Um, we'll just try here. Four, five, six, okay. So one of those got him, so he can flip. At least it's an annoyance. Now then, time to try to move, let's move our rally guys out of the way. One, uh, one and then one two three four five six and I'm just trying to swarm them. Okay. We'll use the swarm tactic there. And here... Okay, everybody's moved into place. Um, we basically tried to swarm these guys over here and here, so... He has to fight... Four to seven... Fourteen, fifteen... Oh, we got a little hasty there. So four to fifteen. One to four odds. One. One to four. Nothing. Okay, he lucked out. And then here we have a four to one to two odds with a five. That's He is disrupted. And then down here we've got a ten to three. Thirteen to five. Two to one. Two to one with a one. Okay, so that's going to be him. And did I move my game turn? I think I need to move up. I think I'm at game turn seven. Uh, it's it's not going to make a big difference. We'll be done by 17. And then um, 10, 15 is 25, uh, 33, 36, 36 to 9, 4 to 1 with a 5. Oh, Defender Exchange. Wow. Flip. That hurts. Flip. 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 Okay. And then this guy is going to be 16 to 13. So one to two odds here with a three. Nothing. Okay. Here we've got 10, 20 to 20 to 5. Four to one with a five is a defender exchange. Flip, flip. Now I'm going to say since this guy's now gone, and Tilly is killed. Okay, and here we have a 12 to three, four to one odds with a six. Uh, 
nothing. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to five, two to one odds. Two to one odds with a four. Two to one with a four, nothing. Okay, and then here we have three. Oh, wait, hold on. Two to one. We rolled a four, so we've got two to one, but it's actually going to be three, four, twelve, eighteen to five. Three to one with a four, which is a defender exchange. Okay. No, that's a. Uh, yeah, it's an exchange. Derp. Okay. Flip, flip, flip. Okay. And then we've got these three. Okay. Three, six, and five is 11 to three. Three to one odds with a one. And that will eliminate this guy. Okay. Pretty bloody battle. Um... And that is the end of the turn. Okay, I think it's turn eight. And Imperialists have to lose 45 Imperial Infantry. Um, they've lost 10. Um, the Allies have to, they've lost how much infantry? They've lost no infantry yet. The, the Saxons have, but they have not. It's all been cavalry. They've lost a couple leaders. Um, okay, we go to the next turn. We roll a six, same as always. Again, it's clear the we can try to make some, uh, try to unroute ourselves, rally. Nothing there. Okay, this guy, nothing. This guy, nothing. And this guy, nothing. Our cannons can fire. Uh, nobody here. Yeah, you can't really hit there. Can't hit there. Uh, we can hit try for two shots on this guy. And that's within one, two, th that's one, two, three, four. Um, so we need a one or two. We do. Okay. These guys, um, The only real pieces I can try for are these. So let's try for this guy right here. Nothing. Okay. Now, somehow we ended up with two guys there. Try to withdraw some of these guys. And going to move him here. Actually, I'm going to move him here. Um, One, two, three, one, two, three. I think it's time to um, Okay, nobody over here. These guys are gonna be mopped up. Um So what I think we'll do is we're going to try to break this up a little more. Um, I think what we're going to have to do, I think it's about time for the allies, once they get this little area cleaned up, I just realized they have no leaders left. Oh, they do. They've got some of the minor ones here. I guess Tilly's gone. Yeah, Tilly was killed. Okay, 
I guess what we'll do here is we've got seven, eight to four, two to one here. Four, two to one with a four, nothing, okay. Here we've got a five to two, two to one with a six. Defender exchange, flip, and this guy is gone. And then here, okay, we did this one here. We've done this one here. We've done this one, seven to two. 3 to 1 odds with a 3, and that's going to eliminate this guy. And then 2 to 1 odds with a 6. Oh, that's an exchange, okay. Flip and flip. Okay, over here we've got a 7, 8, and a 21 to... 16, one to one odds with a two. Oh, wow. Flip, flip, and flip. Okay, down here, nothing. Okay, so that ends the uh, Imperial turn. It's now the Allies' turn. And I guess what we're going to try to do, we need to start to try to hit these guys. Gosh, we're so weakened everywhere. Um, cannons. Um, let's start firing here. And we got these six, and we will try here, and then here, and on down the line. Okay, so we'll say Six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one hit. Oh, rallies. We got to do our rallies here. Rally here. That's a six. That's a rally. Okay, here. Nope. There's another rally. Uh, nothing, nothing here. Okay, this guy gets to try to rally. Okay, that's all my rallies, I think. Now, move around here. And here, and here, and here, here, and here, and here. I can try to get these guys rallied if I can. Actually, he will move here and here. He can't rally, but these guys can try. Okay, and then Okay, so basically we've kind of moved our guys back, try to get them rallied. Uh, we'll put him here. That'll be the perfect place for one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and okay. Like I said, I think you could stack in this game, but I just don't remember. And like I say, I'm just I'm gonna try to be consistent. So okay, everybody's moved. Um hopefully we can come down and smash these guys. Again, this is playing out pretty historical.
uh, we've got seven to seven, one to one odds there with a three, one to one with a three, nothing. Okay, over here I've got three, six, two to one odds with a one. So this guy is now eliminated. And five to three, one to one with a one, another elimination. Okay, um, over here, 15 to five, three to one odds with a five, nothing. And I had one to one there. I think we already fought that one. Okay, that's the end of game turn eight. We go to game turn nine. Game turn nine is a two, clear again. Man. So we start with the um, Empire, Empiric Troops. They've got this guy and this guy try to rally. One, two, nothing. Okay, here and here and here. These three. Nothing. This guy, he rallies. This guy, nothing. And there's a guy there and a guy there. This guy rallies. Okay. Artillery cannot fire here, but they can fire here. Yeah, I think so. And let's see, that's a one, two, a range of three. Nothing. Okay. Then over here, we're going to try to fire here and here. Nothing. Okay. I'm losing my units, though. Um, stay put. Uh, we will try to take this guy, one, two, three, one, two, three, and this guy there. We'll move him out. Um, Okay, I think I've got everybody moved, and we will try to mop up over here. So I've got seven and eight to three. Two to one odds with a six. Two to one with a six. Exchange. Ouch. Flip and flip. And then here I've got 14 to four. Uh, three to one odds with a five. Nothing. Okay, here I've got a five to two, so two to one with a one. That will eliminate this guy. And then here I've got a 10 and 11 to 15. So it's one to one with a four. Nothing. Okay, and then 11 to five across a stream. Is that a river? Now it's stream. Two additional movement points. Defender doubled. Okay. So this is actually one to one with a two. One to one with a two. Defender exchange. Flip and he is gone. That was our first, uh, that's the first uh, allied infantry to be lost in the game. Actually, I think either side has lost only one infantry. Ten units. Okay, um, that is it. That's the whole thing. Okay, now it's time for the allies to move. First of all, roll those old saving throws. Uh, here we've got two, so this is a, he needs a three or better. Neither of them make it. Okay, 
Over here, three or better. This guy makes it. And this guy makes it. Okay, here we've got a four or better. I need three of those. Whoops. So this guy made it. And then here we need a five or six. Nothing. Okay. Um, cannons can go... I don't think... I don't see any lines of sight there that these guys can make. This guy... No, no. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. This guy can, and this guy can. So this guy can shoot at this guy, this guy can shoot at this guy. They can cross. Uh, they need ones. Neither of them shoot. Okay. And that's it. So movement uh, will move out of the way. Let's see here. And we are just going to swarm these guys. We'll move this guy one, one, and one. Um, man, I'm going to try to move in here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I can't really do much else. This guy's going to move down to the end here. And we can start here. Four, two, five. One to two with a one. One to two with a one is an exchange. But that's going to do in that uh, leader. Down here, I've got a bunch of guys. So 15, 16, 17, two, six, and five is 11, 22. It's going to be one to two. One to two with a four. Probably this is going to be the attack of the game. One to two with a four is an exchange. Okay. Flip, 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 flip. And then we can go on down here, do slopes. Oh, doubled. Okay. 10 to 10. So 1 to 2 with a 5. Okay, so he's flipped. Okay, 8 to 12. 1 to 2 with a 1. It's an exchange. Flip and... Okay, I'm going to flip this guy, and that's 11, let's see, and 10. Try to kind of keep track of these uh, infantry units that are lost. This has just been a bloodbath. Okay, 10 to 13 to 5. 2 to 1 with a 2. 2 to 1 with a 2. Defender, okay, there's that, and this is pretty... They're doing these guys in pretty quickly. I think 45 is what the Imperials need. Turn 9. I think we're at turn 9. Actually, we're at turn 10. I think we're at turn 10. Okay. Turn 55 is what the Imperials are needing right now to send them from the field. The Swedes and the Allies need 75 lost to demoralize. Okie doke. And then here we have a 12 to 6, 2 to 1 odds. With a six, two to one with a six is an exchange, so flip and flip, okay. And then over here we've got a five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11 to 3. 3 to 1 with a 4. Uh, 3 to 1 with a 4. Exchange, flip, 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 and gone. And then here we have a 12, 13, 14, 15, 5 to 1 with a 5. It's going to send this guy packing. Okay, and that is the end of turn. We'll go to turn 11. We roll to see it's a 6, same as always. Uh, the Imperials will try to rally. Okay, so here we've got, uh, we have a 4, 5, or 6. Okay, this guy rallied. Um, here we have a under Pappenheim, these two. Okay, this guy rallied. And then none of those guys can rally. Nobody here can rally. Okay. Uh, cannons firing. They can fire. Um, down here. Nothing. And then this guy will fire here. Nothing. Oh, wait. No, that is a two. That is a flip piece. Um, no fire here. No fire here. Okay. The uh, allies will try to go here and here. Can't do much here. 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 Here here and here. Oh, this guy can move back. And that guy can move in. Okay, not much we can do. So 10 and 17 is 27 to 5. 5 to 1 with the 2. Is it a defender eliminated? And over here, 11 to 10. 1 to 1 with a 4. Nothing. Okay, here we have a 12, 13, 20, 27 to 7, 3 to 1 with a 3. Okay, that sends him packing. And then finally 7 to 4, 1 to 1 odds with a 1, and that's going to send him packing. Okay, we go to the, uh, the uh, allies. They can't do anything here. Okay. Uh, this guy can try with a six. He does make it. Um, over here. Let's see. We need a four, five, or six for those two. That one made it. Okay. This guy. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's it, and then we can do our little moves. Um, moving those guys away. Hope that guy got to see if he does it. Uh, yeah, he did. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He can go there. He can go there. One, two, three, four here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Okay, I think everybody's moved. Oh, I forgot to shoot. Um, this guy was the only guy that I think could do it. So we just see, nope. Okay. So yeah, we had that one cannon shot. Um, let's see here. This is interesting. Um, we've got a 12 and a 10. It's 12 and 22, 
32, 35 to 10. So we've got three to one with a two. I lost my uh, guy. Here it is. Yeah, let's get this pinned again. This pin function is nice. Um, let's see, three to one with a five, with a two. Three to one with a two is a defender. Is flipped. Okay, nothing over there, and we go to next game turn. We roll a one. Still the same weather. The we roll to see who can save here. Um, okay, this guy did, and this guy did not. Okay, this guy needs a four, five, or six. He does. This guy needs a four, five, or six. He does. Here we need a five or six. Yeah. Okay, this could go either way. Well, this is kind of exciting. The um, and a six. Okay, so flip. Okay, everybody's good there. I still have a can. I still got a guy there too. Okay. I think uh, the cannons will fire. Cannot fire. He can fire. Yeah, I don't think he can make it. Um, cannons can't really do anything. Okay, this guy with the 17. Two, three. I think we're going to move here. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. And then... Um, Okay, so we've had a little bit of a turnaround here. So we've got 17, 28 to 10. Two to one odds with a one. Oh, that's bad for them. Flip piece, okay. And then over here we have 7, 8, 15, 22, 35 to 10. Three to one with a two. And that's going to eliminate this guy. Okay, quickly looking. 75, 8, 15, 14, 10, 20, 28, and 30 is 58, 57. So we're still not quite there with the Swedish forces. Um, and that is end of turn, or that's the end of the... Uh, Allied turn. Did I move this forward? I think I did. Yeah, let's move it forward again. I'm losing track. I get into the game. That's the problem is I get into the game and I lose track of what I got to do. Um, get kind of excited. Okay. Now it's the, uh, it's the Allied turn. We got to do our little saves. And so we're going to start out here. With these guys, they need four, five, sixes. Okay, that guy did. Or, no, he's already good. Okay, this guy did. Okay, these two and this guy. This guy did. This guy did. Um, okay, nothing there. Okay. Um, okay, artillery is going to make this fun. Um, let's start. Start with, I think all of these guys can hit this guy. This guy and this guy. Let's start with these two and hit, try there. And that one does it. Okay. And then these five will go here. We'll try here first. One, two, 
wait, one, two, three, four, five. And he had a two. That was enough to hit him. And then these four. Oh, I got a guy there too. Okay. We'll go. We're going to try for this guy. Well, I don't think he can shoot. I think we can shoot these two. Neither of them did it. Okay. And that's going to be it. Um, move our these guys out of the way and then Okay, and then um, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, this guy, two, three, four, eight. Okay, let's see. We've got here two to one odds with a three. And that's an exchange. So till these units are gone. And then he's flipped. And then I've got eight, nine, ten, eleven. And ten is 21 to 17. One to one with a six is an. Oh, okay. Flip and flip. And then I got 10, 20 to 2. Now he's going across the slope. Um, is the slope both ways? From slope. Okay. So he's he's fine. 10, 22 to 5. 4 to 1 odds with a 1. Now oh, that's not good. And... That is it. Okay, end of turn here. Um, I think we said that the 55 on infantry, 10, 20, 30, 40, that's going to be it. Um, I tell you what, is then all these guys can try to move off the board. Everybody just disordered. Flip piece. Let's get these guys all flipped. Flip. Flip. Whoops. Oh, what happened to that guy? Flip him. Okay. I'm not sure I really am big on this rule. I think it's kind of a... I think he ought to just call the game, but I guess for point consideration. Okay, and then these guys. So I think everything's pretty much over for but the Kryon for the Imperialist. Uh, the score right now is the uh, Allies, or the Swedish units, are 136, and the Imperial units are at 118. Now you could gain points for trying to move off the board, but at the same time, the Swedish units are going to get uh, 15 points for controlling all of these uh artillery units. So I don't think there's any way the Imperials could win at this point. It's actually fairly close, but uh, you're going to try to get these Imperial units off on that top row up here if you want to. Anyway, that's kind of the game. I forgot completely about the cavalry rules that the Swedish could use. Um, I'm not sure if that would have changed up things very much because the Swedes won, but it's certainly with a better Imperial play, I think it could have been a little more crucial. Anyway, it's a pretty good game. I think it's fairly balanced. I've played this numerous times, and each time the outcomes come out a little bit different. This really did follow the pretty standard uh, battle as it actually happened historically, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, that's what I got this week. I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you have any anything you want to see, let me know down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.